everyone, welcome. I'm Davey. In today's video, I am sharing with you my five cleaning tools that you need to have in your house to make cleaning hassle-free and much easier. So if you're new to my channel, I am Davey Killian. I do videos on simple and thrifted living, DIYs, and homemaking, and I'd love to have you join my YouTube community. If you also like these type of videos, hit the thumbs up button so I know that you enjoy these types of videos. Anyways, I'm going to jump in with my first cleaning tool that you should have. The first one is very simple. It is just an extendable duster. Now, these can be found probably at the Dollar Tree. I got this as a gift and they are so handy. They get the ceiling fan, they get the lights. It's very compact. You can use it wherever. Just wipe off a surface, get up top, bend it. You can get all your trim, all of everything that really has a ledge. So you need to have one of these dusters. My second cleaning tool that you need to have is a glass cleaning cloth. Now this is a Norwex window cleaning cloth. I use it on all my mirrors, on my windows, and I have a couple, one for like the outside and one for the inside because I don't want to get the inside one dirty. And it has a different texture to it, but you just get a little wet with water and you wipe off your mirrors. It gets all the toothpaste and scum and water things off of there that you need. So I recommend having one of these. You can probably order them from a different place. Amazon, I'm sure, has one. But I really like Norwex, and this one is called Norwex Window. So if you want to check that out, definitely do. Right, my third cleaning tool is a magic eraser, or this is called a soup eraser. I got these three for a dollar at a grocery store. You can get them for a dollar at Dollar Tree. They are so affordable. They clean up so much scum. Um, off of like white sinks, my bathtub. This is like what I go to for cleaning off scum and a little bit of the, when it starts to get yellowed instead of white, just go to these and use them. And who could go wrong with three for a dollar? Okay, my third cleaning tool is this rubber scraper. Now, yes, it can be used in the kitchen, but it can also be used in many other places. So you can use it on candles to get sticklers off or if you buy something new just go use this thing scrape it off on countertops to scrape it off on the floors anything that's sticky or gunky on a harder surface go with this and it doesn't scratch the surface so this a dollar i mean so affordable to find something like this at the dollar tree walmart amazon wherever you want have some in a couple different locations if you need my fifth is a little bigger it is a Swiffer sweeper. Now I use this in my kitchen on the hardwood daily. I put a little Swiffer pad on the bottom and just go around and sweep up. Sometimes it's two or three times a day, just under a table, all around, because it gets everything you need. It's collapsible. It um, goes in a little bit if you need it, or it bends, whatever you need it. I just leave it out, and then unless we have company come. It's so easy to change the Swiffer on the bottom. I definitely highly, oh, just go get it. That's all I got to tell you. Um, I'll put a link for these on Amazon or Walmart or somewhere just because I think everybody should have this. And I just absolutely love mine and use it more than once a day. So those are my five tools you need to have in your cleaning caddy, in your cleaning cupboard, cleaning kit somewhere because they make life much easier. And with a baby coming in four weeks or less I definitely like less stress and hassle when it comes to cleaning so don't forget to hit subscribe if you haven't yet if you're new give this video a thumbs up and comment below what your favorite cleaning tool is that you could not live without anyways have a blessed and wonderful day and I will talk with you in my next video bye